Closing in on another one. I'm sorry to freak you out earlier. It's just, the elements can be dangerous. Prolonged exposure is hard on a brain. I know. I just... I want to finish this. Yes, definitely. Jump out whenever you feel worn down.
follow you, record your great deeds with poetry. When danger rears its ugly head, Eivor bulks and just stops dead. Eivor running from the past with mighty speed to flabbergast. This will not make great poetry, Eivor. Do something. Any fleet of foot and long of gait. Oh, Eivor, do I pray to your fate. This will not make great poetry, Eivor. Do something. Anything. Eivor ran into the fray. None of you will survive the day. Eivor running from the past with mighty speed to flabbergast. Enough. Stop following me. I cannot. For walking in your footsteps has let me sup at the cup of inspiration. You are my life's great purpose. Enough. I won't listen to your blabber anymore. First there was a famine, and now look here, a feast. Fare thee well, Eivor of the Raven Clan. Your exploits will live on in me. Now, I thank you, but please, take your leave. Please, keep 
must remove the curse. The forest and fields have risen up against me, red in tooth and claw. took its revenge. And that stench, rubbish and rotting food, and his fear he barricaded himself inside. Little wonder the rats came. These are the ramblings of a madman. But the animals, I cannot deny they tormented him. old man tell me your tale three young men came to me not long ago braggarts full of drink and sin death had claimed a friend of theirs so they set out to find death and teach him a lesson that is foolish we knows do not seek to control death we embrace it I but rudely they demanded of me, tell us where to find death. You are old. You must know him. Look no further, said I. He is under the great oak in the forest behind me. And that is where they went. A strange tale. One that lingers like a terrible dream. Survey the area sooner.
Is this the great oak the old man spoke of? Death. So this is what the old man meant. But what happened here? Strangled. That is no bandit's work. Killed by poison. No sign of a struggle. He must have taken it unknowingly. Say poison took this one's life. What was he reaching for, I wonder? Food and ale. But why make a camp here if they were searching for death, as the old man said? played some part in this sorry scene. Three men found hidden treasure beneath the tree. They made camp as they signed out as prize. Two of them turned on the third. But he was one step ahead of them and had already poisoned their ale. So the blister of silver drove these greedy fools to murder. It seems they found death after all. Or death found them. Your mother would not want you to be so love-starved. Leave this house of grief. You are right. She was always so happy, laughing and singing. It would break her heart to see me so forlorn. I'll not let sentimentality be the shackles of my soul. I will find work in the village, even meet a girl, and start my own family. And tell them stories of magic, heroes, and fair maidens. Thank you, stranger. You have given me a glimpse of a sweeter life. This was hers. Take it, for it saddens me to look on. I hope you find what you're looking for. Farewell. I'm glad you stopped by. It brought me some comfort.
That's not what I was expecting. Drink by the campfire, skate on the ice, buy a lean horse and a tempered sword. Do these things and be pleased with your lot.
should not be seen in this area. Sunan, guide me. Daughter, she seizes me, red, plunders my head. Oh dear me, no, what am I thinking? She never fails on plan there. Let he know why to so that now. What are you doing here in the middle of nowhere? Ah, 
A visitor for Chad the Bewilderer, the most radiant and rakish riddler. Do you have the wits to best me? There is cake in it if you do. For cake, I'll answer any mind sees you have for me. My head is forged with the hammer, hurt with sharp tools, smoothed by files. I take in my mouth what is set before me. Iron is forged with tools, and a keyhole could be the mouth of a door. A log and key. Wonderful. Your wit sparkles. But still, another one. I saw a strange thing, wonderful of shape, singing in a tavern. Its beak underneath stood upon splayed legs that cannot walk. I saw a strange thing, wonderful of shape, singing in a tavern. Its beak underneath stood upon splayed legs that cannot walk. Something that sings. A musical instrument. The bladder that winds and wheezes through pipes. Bagpipes. Very good. A tricky one that few but the sharpest needles can sew. Now, the final test. With my roof of tears, I am driven far and wide on my avenging path. When I shake the forest, I rumble the fruit from the trees. Rain covers the earth like a roof, and the rumble of thunder and lightning can shake acorns from a branch. A storm. You are brighter than the sky, Lantern. Your wit outshone my words. And such a feat deserves three cakes. But unfortunately, I do not have any. So the cake was a lie? Do not pout. Have a reward much more worthy of your talents. Goodbye, Chet. Your riddles were a fun diversion. Stay a while. Read some more of my scribblings. 